Welcome back folks, thanks for joining us. Today back on the farm we are talking service trucks. Service vehicles I should say actually. So I've noticed myself that my farm's getting bigger. I'm starting to get a bit of a pain in the butt to drag all my equipment down to my shop to have to repair everything. Plus also on top of that there's been the rare time, obviously I think we've all done it, that we get out to the field with all of our equipment and we realize, oh boy, maintenance down to nothing. Plus also for role play, I really kind of like to play it around where you know I have field repairs or things that go down. So today we're going to be talking field service vehicles or a way to set up a field service vehicle that now you can actually repair your equipment anywhere on the field on the farm anywhere it's going to require you a couple mods the mods are right in front of us here we've got the pallet the shovel the pail or bucket and the toolbox right there so we're going to check out the mods that we need so let's just jump to that right now and we'll be right back okay so downloadable content all you do is hop in there we're going to go to search we'll search toolbox first there it is toolbox Berm, the only one there. So Schultz Modding, Toolbox, that's which one you want. Grab that one. Then we're going to grab the shovel. There we go, shovel. And we want, oh, there we go, first one as well. And the Adub Modding ABP Team <laughs> uh, is the one that you want as well. And then we're going to go bucket. Oh, too far, too far. And we're going to go bucket. And there it is. Boom. And we want... There it is, Buckets Pack, the second one, by Puzcap. Oh yeah, I'm, I butchered that one, terribly sorry. But that's the one there that you want as well. And then, last but not least, we want Pallet. So we want Pallet, and it's going to be the Euro Pallet that you're going to be looking for. So down over to the very end here at the first row, Euro Pallet there by Nico du 55 And you're going to want to pick that one up there. All right, so back to the farm. And let's continue on. Okay, so now that we know which mods we have, now we've got those mods, we've got them loaded into the game. Now, how do we use them? So the first thing we're going to need to do is find out where to get them. The sh shovel, pail, and bucket. Excuse me, the shovel, um, the pallet, and bucket is all going to be through the store. So we're going to go up to our tools. We're going to go up to miscellaneous. And that is where we're going to have our bucket and our shovels. Now, the shovel is one slot. Fantastic. The bucket, be forewarned, the silver bucket is two slots. The rusty bucket is one slot. And the plastic bucket, which is a bucket they added, is one slot as well. So, slots-wise, I use the rusty bucket, plus also $10-wise, and I like the look of it. So, we're going to be using the rusty bucket for... Um, demonstration purposes you can put whatever bucket you want that uh, floats your boat and there you go so the shovel same thing basically pick that up you can color it however you want and then you can get that loaded up and then the pallets basically into our pallets over to the very end and right there we've got our euro pallet now the cool thing is it actually gives you the old or new style and an old style so kind of nice little added touch uh, and i use both so for again demonstration purposes we're going to be having both as well and i like to use the older style and but i do have both on the farm now the toolbox itself oh and real quick you can pick all of this stuff up at the store so the toolbox however we will need to go into our construction menu and we're going to need to go to our shed or buildings and tools now tools right down there we've got the toolbox mod it's one slot super super easy and all you're going to do is you're going to select it and you're just going to want to put it down wherever you want to have it now here's the thing it's going to spawn in that spot that you place it whenever you load the game i know it sounds like that's going to be a real pain in the butt but it really isn't that bad and i'll show you some of the tricks that i did or i've learned to uh, to make it quite easy so pick your spot figure out where you want it i personally you can see it right behind my character there right there i stick it inside my shop just so i can bring my uh my service truck in and load it up and send myself off to the field so what we're going to do is once we have the 
mods. We've got everything from the store. Now we're going to set it all up to kind of give a little space in this left corner here. Uh, I'll show you later other setups, but the way I have mine is I have it set up in the left corner, and then I use the pail to hold it from the one side. I use the pallet to hold it from the back side. I use the shovel to hold it from the top. And then this truck right here, which is the TLX 3500, has side rails on their flat deck so you can get this specific model holds fuel as well so i can do refuel and repair right now we're concentrating on repair because refuel that's a whole other video <laughs> but for the repair factor i just set up these things here now i also carry around a draw bar myself that's for me that nothing you guys need to worry about so what we're going to do is we're going to set it all up and then when this toolbox all you're going to do myself is i just crouch down i grab it and then we walk up and, oh wait 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 sorry getting to him myself here we're gonna let it we're gonna let go of our straps so let's pretend that we haven't set this up yet you just got it so we're gonna move our shovel out of the way Oop, hopefully not knock that pallet there we go <laughs> we're gonna grab our toolbox and this is the neat thing the toolbox will actually go right through the bed of the truck so i will put it down in however it won't it won't go through the rails so this is kind of like the nice part about it. So I, I bump it right up against the rails and then I let go. And then now that it's leveled out, I'll grab it again and I just pull it out a little bit more, boom, right to the edge. Now we want the toolbox right to that edge. Now once the toolbox is there, we get the pallet, we shove the pallet right up against there. We get the bucket, we flip, I flip it upside down, but however you want. And we put it right up against there. Then we grab the shovel and then when we grab the shovel, we're going to put it just over top. And that's all I do is I just put it right over top of the toolbox right there. And then once we strap that, boom, boom, we're locked in. Now I can drive anywhere and go pick up, uh, or sorry, I can drive anywhere I want. And I can go repair any equipment or machinery, tractors, what have you, uh, without having to drag them all the way back down. So what we can do, and the greatest thing is this locks it in so it doesn't actually roam about. So we'll just go a quick little tester here. I'll show you. So we'll back up. There's actually, I've got some setups back there. We're going to get to that in a minute. We're just going to rip to, you know what, we can just pick... Let's just pick these right here. So I need to repair some, some trailers. So we're going to back up to it. And we get to about there. And it should be anywhere in the back side. Now what you want to do is where those strapping, or sorry, the latches are, face the latches to what you want to be repairing. So then oh, uh, we will need our help window on. So now all you want to do is walk up to the edge. And you get up to the edge. There we go open up vehicle options so I click on that and there we go look at that I can repair all of my who 76 months <laughs> I can repair all of my equipment right there and away we go same thing you can pick pick up anything really is uh, we can go all the way down and we can come back around here and the main thing is just having it right up against that edge. That's the main thing because if you get it too close to the middle, then it's going to going to interfere with trying to strap down your ratchet straps. So that's why you want it right close to the edge. So see, as I walk forward, boom, open up vehicle options, click on that. Oh, look at that. It carries everything there. So now I can actually repair everything back here, no problem. And then the best thing, like I said, is it locks it in. So I can rip around. I can go as hard as I can. And it's not moving whatsoever. We can back up as hard as we can. Hit the brakes. Oof, it is not moving. So that is the fantastic thing about it. And the great thing is, is it will stay there your whole session. So you can play your whole session and you grab your truck and go. The only thing it'll do is it'll reset back to the spot originally over there whenever you reload your game. But when it does that, all it'll do is it will, oop, I went too far away. So it will get rid of it. And then you come back, when you come back to your stuff loaded, boom. As you saw when we first came in, see how everything was all strapped down like this. So then when you come back into the game and you're ready to go for another session, all you do is you unstrap unstrap you leave the shovel leave the shovel because for, again for some reason this goes through it which is why we like it so we're going to go through 
It will move the pallet, but it won't move the shovel or the pail. So down, and then we pull back a bit and let go. See how it pops up the shovel? Popped up the shovel. We are, oh yeah, that's right close to the edge. Click, click. Open up vehicle options. Boom, we're locked in. I can go for the session now. It takes seconds, and away we go. So now I can play the session. Anybody that's playing with me, I now have a fully functional service truck. Like I said, this one holds fuel. There's lots of stuff out there for holding fuel, but I noticed there wasn't very much for repair. So this is my little get around, my little hack to basically be able to repair in the field. So from here, there are also other setups, but there are also things you need to be watching out for. So here we go. Real quick, we'll run this down. Base game vehicles works for it as well. The great thing about the base game vehicles is that you don't need the pail. So you don't actually need the pail. You can shove it right in that corner. You can put the pallet down and the shovel over top. Now, word of warning though, it will shift. So it will kind of slide forward and backwards. Um, I forgot to put the toolbox in there, so terribly sorry, but it will work in the back as well. I have vetted this is what all of these setups I vetted. It will work in the back as well, but again, like I said, it will slide forward and backward. Uh, through my testing, there was a time where I flipped the truck, and this did kind of pop out, but <laughs> technically, it stayed in. <laughs> so, I would say that that's a win. The great thing about it, too, is with it pain, point, excuse me, pointed at the side, so now all I have to do is pull up to here. Oh, there, you go, Lois. there we go, and where is it there? There we go, open up Vehicle Workshop. And there's nothing there, so it's not reading. Where is it? Oh, maybe it's not reading the gator, so it might not be something. I'll have to check that, because it did work there, and it did work. Okay, what about over here? Yep, because we've got our stock gators. Yeah, so because nothing's pointing in there, so it's not. I'm clicking and it's not working, that's okay. We just need to get a little closer. But it does work for the stock gators as well. You just have to be careful where these straps are. Same thing with the TLX 3500. The straps on the TLX 3500 are at the top. So there, oop, there's a strap on the pallet too, just in case you need a strip. Didn't do it. But it's at the top, and by having that, it actually doesn't allow for any pressure. So if you were to do this, everything in the tool bo in the box would slide around. This same thing. See how the straps are at the top? So when I put it in with only one pallet, the shovel will stay, the pail will stay, the toolbox will stay left and right, but forward and backwards, there's nothing holding this pallet. So the pallet, see, I it, it just moved right there. Like, yeah, see, I can grab it and I can actually move it. So it's not being held on. However, all you have to do is just add a pallet and just make sure that it's higher than your straps to create that tension. And boom, now it all works. The so same thing, we've got our stock Gator here, or sorry, our stock John Deere side by side. And now we have a repair unit. So now I can rip around on the farm if I want to. I personally use the gator for it, but you can do whatever you want. So you can kind of see where I'm going with it and seeing the gist of it here. So now you can have yourself a repair vehicle. You can bring yourself out to the field. You can repair everything up. And if you have a vehicle set up for refuel, you also have the ability to refuel as well. So what else? I think that's it. So now we have a repair vehicle. I can actually, like I said, I can go around the whole farm or I can go out on the field and it works great. So, okay, that's it. That's all. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps and we'll see you soon.